Hi everybody, it's Brianna from Beehive Salon in Chesapeake, Virginia. I'm actually sitting in my backyard with my own real beehive right now. And today I'm gonna post a video about how to comb out a dreadlock from start to finish. So it's going to be long, but it's gonna show you in depth how to properly do it. And I'm gonna share with you a project that I just did with a client who went from a nine-year-old head of dreads to a shag mullet haircut. So thanks for watching. I hope everyone is well. Here she is, nine year old dreads. And she came to me and asked me to cut them into a shape, but we only had two hours to get to it. So this is the shape that we came up with on the first day, kind of a mullet with dreads in the back. And then she went home and did the rest herself. So first I cut the haircut. And you see this blunted end of the dreadlock. The dreads are dry. It would be a little bit easier to do this if the dreadlocks were wet because then the hair would be more flexible. But sometimes you do risk a little bit more hair loss when you do it wet because the hair stretches um, too much. So I'm starting to go at it from the end of the dread, the very, very end, pulling and kind of opening the dreadlock. So I'm using the end of my comb, the tip of it, and I'm pressing it into the bottom. And then if possible, I'm pulling. If you hit a spot like I just did right there where it doesn't pull, then you let out and you go a little bit towards the end and just work in really small segments, pulling and combing. So these are nine-year-old dreads, but basically where I cut them, you know, that's probably only about, I don't know, maybe a year's worth of growth. So in terms of what I'm combing out, we can say that those dreadlocks are about a year old. When she went home, uh, home and did this herself, she was combing out the bottom half of her hair. I did not create these locks. Uh, somebody else did, and I've just been maintaining them for the past couple of years. What she had on the ends was interlocking, and that's how they had been previously done. Um, an interesting thing that she pointed out was that when she combed out the interlocked part of her dreads, uh, it was sticky and had a whole bunch of residue built up. I don't know if you've watched my video videos before, but I do not like interlocking on Caucasian hair. It is a huge no-no. I'm happy to explain it if you ever want to know why but basically it just ties the hair in knots and things cannot escape they can go in but they can't escape so i'm just working slowly you know like one eighth of an inch at a time and i'm putting the pointy part of the comb in pulling it down combing it out you can see the hair right there that came out you are going to experience hair loss with this. Um, basically our hair normally is shedding all the time, but when you have locks, it doesn't have a chance to shed. So it comes out of the root and stays in your dread. So don't be surprised by the amount of hair you'll lose. She still, as you will see, has quite a bit of hair on her head after her head has been combed out. It can be a fairly quick process if you cut the dread like I did and you're working in that younger portion of it. This is gonna take a lot longer if you're working on the lower half of the dreadlock. But I'm still just stabbing, pulling, opening, pulling it apart with my hands manually. The hair is such a weird texture after this is done, so you immediately have to go to wash it thoroughly, very, very thoroughly, um, even using some kind of, I um, uh, can't think of the word, clarifying shampoo or some kind of detox to get all of the residue that maybe hasn't come out when they've been washed in the past and condition it really well 
Oftentimes I will flat iron the hair just to take the kink out and try to manually smooth it down. It's almost like the hair does not know what to do with itself at first. It'll try to stay sectioned. Okay, so you see that. That's a pretty decent amount of hair that came out. And here's her after photo. Isn't she cute? She came back in with it all combed out. I colored it and cut it into the mullet she wanted. And here's my salon, the beehive, letter B, word hive. We are a hair salon, loctician shop, crystal shop. We're in Chesapeake, Virginia. We take all hair types, totally inclusive and diverse. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a great day.